All right, so this is my overview of my lesson plan. I want to do what's the process of photosynthesis. It's something we're working on right now in our classes. Uh, it'll be high school resource, um, science, matter, energy, and the ecosystems. We're going to set it up for about 30 minutes. Um, it does, I did uh, attach this to a state standard. What's the process of photosynthesis? So the objective, students will be able to name and describe the four steps of photosynthesis by the end of week one. Uh, with 100% accuracy um, for my materials, my tech set, um, the first one I have is a uh, Bill Nye video, and that'll be kind of an attention grabber. Um, so it talks about the, the discovery of photosynthesis. Chemist Joseph Priestley conducts a series of experiments to see what happens when he heats various substances in closed jars. So we won't watch the whole video, obviously, uh, but it's a cool little intro to photosynthesis, how it was discovered. Um, it's kind of a, I'm using that as my attention grabber. Um, so next, uh, as part of the text set, we have got like a step-by-step -step, um, online resource, or you could print this out. Um, so it's got kind of your simple diagram here, and then it goes down. What is photosynthesis? What's needed? What happens during photosynthesis? These are my basic four steps that I'm looking for. Talks about reactions. Um, and so a few more things uh, that we won't quite get into in my 30-minute lesson plan, but a you know, great resource for the kids. Um, as another part of the text set, I'm going to show a poster from Kids Discover. It's another great visual. Um, this has got a lot more detail on it. I'll have them kind of use this as they're filling in their own graphic organizers. This could just be another resource for them to help. Um, and then for one of my last parts of the text set, I found a board game. Um, obviously, in a real-life application, I would get the game. Uh, for this, I just found a video of kind of how the game works. It's a photosynthesis board game. So you kind of have to have some prior knowledge. You uh, have to have gone through those first couple text sets to really understand what's going on here in the game. Um, I'm going to go fast forward here. Based on where the sun is, taking all the trees, you move your characters in um, different ways. So. so again, we won't watch the whole video, but that could be definitely a fun interactive way to kind of sum up what we've been reading and studying. Um, you know, we'll do some note-taking, filling in those graphic organizers, but that'll be kind of a fun way to wrap it up. So then, getting into the graphic organizers, um, I'll just show you one. I have three picked out. I'll just show you one of them. I found some great stuff on uh, Pinterest and Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, so this is one of my graphic organizers that I would have. Um, as you can see, this one, I'll have the kids fill it in. Um, I've got another one that's uh, pretty filled out that's similar to this graphic, definitely nowhere near as detailed, uh, but just another resource, and then I'll have kids fill in two of their own graphic organizers. Um, you'll also need, for my lesson plan, we're going to need two plants, water, and a window as well. Um, so roughly, I'll show the Bill Nye video listed above, we'll lead a group discussion, talking about photosynthesis after the video, you know, making... Uh, asking questions on what they already know about it, making some connections. That'll be our anticipatory set. Uh, after the NIVE video, we'll introduce the materials in the text set and the graphic organizers. We'll also introduce the board game. Uh, the kids will watch the video. They'll read along with the text sets. Um, modeling, this I thought would be kind of a fun activity as well. Um, since this lesson's only gonna take 30 minutes, but you know we'll spend about a week on the photosynthesis stuff. Uh, I thought at the beginning I'd get two identical or you know pretty close to identical plants. One plant we'll put in the window with water, one plant we'll put in the cupboard at the end of the week when we're done studying photosynthesis. We'll compare the plants, students will kind of reflect on that, tell me about the differences. Guiding practice, uh, we'll break the students into the groups to play that board game. The teacher will provide the graphic organizers, they'll fill those out after the board game. And then check for understanding, the students will draw a diagram showing the four steps of photosynthesis. Uh, for closure, a teacher will review graphic organizers and diagrams completed by the students, and the teacher will provide correct answers and quick review after all students have completed the activity. Uh, the teacher accounted for different students' needs with diversity of materials in the text set. There's video, text, diagrams, graphic organizers, and a game. It covers a lot of different types of learning. Uh, students get to you know hear it, view it, get their hands on it. Uh, so that's great. There's all my references, um, content knowledge, a science base. 
We're just learning the process of photosynthesis. I'm looking for four main steps. Uh, Marzano, strategies, homework practice, non linguistic representations, cooperative learning, setting objectives, and providing feedback. Um, so here are my couple more questions to answer here. Thought I had this up. So I talked about my strategies. Um, the tech set, I thought it was a pretty fun one. Uh, you got the Bill Nye video. That's definitely a throwback, but all the kids still know what Bill Nye is. They love that. Um, so just, you know, introducing it with that just could be a way to get them excited that we're going to watch a Bill Nye video and see what it's about. I like the introduction style of his video. He doesn't, you know, dive too deep into what photosynthesis is. Um, but he kind of, you know, applies it to real life, tells you a little bit about the history of it. So that's cool. Uh, again, went over the strategies. I'm most confident about, I think this is a fun lesson. Um, I think this is going to be a way, uh, like I said, get the kids involved with the video. There's a little bit of paperwork that's required. And the game I think will be cool too. Um, what am I most apprehensive about? Um, I don't know that I'm too apprehensive with anything with this lesson. I think, um, you know, they can get those four main things down pretty good. Um, I guess I'd be a little bit about apprehensive about my own content knowledge. You know, I just want to make sure I know the exact, you know, process of photosynthesis and everything that I'm looking for with the answers, just so that if kids don't write down exactly what I'm looking for, uh, maybe if they're in the right area, I can still give them the points they need, stuff like that. So that, uh, that's my quick overview of my lesson plan and the tech sets that I've selected.